Voyager is the fastest ship in the world. We are going at 32 knots. We have rooster tails coming out of the stern. I stand corrected. It's 28 knots, 32 miles per hour. Still the fastest ship in the world. Look at the wake. We can feel the salt spray. 32 miles per hour. Unbelievable. There's our lifeboat. If we ever need it. Here we are in Ushmal, the very beautiful, well-kept Mayan ruins, two hours bus drive from Progreso, Yucatan. Pyramid of the Magician. We are good. Uh, not basketball. <laughs> Ushmal. The ball court of Ushmal. The name of this game was. Is the name of this game? They had to throw the ball Andrew through that ball hoop. Or four or five pounds. Hips. Knees, and elbows, head. hips. No hands. No hands. Oh, no big. hands to hit the ball. No. No. The who person was the beheaded person. Some scholars believe, or some persons say that the beheaded person was the captain of the. Lucian team, you know, it's easy to say, you lose, you die. <laughs> Some scholars believe that maybe the beheaded person was the captain of the winning team. Why? Because, amigos, this game was played by the rulers and by priests. Because this game was observed for entertaining or for entertainment of the gods, not for entertainment of the peasants. That's why maybe the beheaded person, uh, I mean the winning person, he should be a skilled person and he'll take with him the questions of the people with their gods. <laughs> the scholars I believe that maybe the beheaded person was the Lucent, the captain of the Lucent team because, I, you know, you have to pay a price if you dare to play on this, on this court. Let's say that this is, let's say that this is like a... The Yankee Stadium, I mean, <laughs> a special stadium for you. Well, there were other uh, Mayan ball courts, you know, for the principals, for beginners. If they feel that they're ready and they dare to play here, they have to pay a price if you dare to play with me because I'm the champion, just to say. It's what is called belief. Any question? Supposedly, this temple was built in all temples in Greece. According to the alignment and according to the decoration, this is temple this of the turtle. almost perfect, this one, this small one. This way, please. Remember, each door. Here we are. Top. Well, the only pyramid you can climb here now. There is something Martha couldn't see because she didn't come up the pyramid. This is how steep it is, this pyramid stairs. And that is it for Ushmael. Absolutely incredible journey into the Mayan world. As the sun sets on our ship, 
in Progreso, the beautiful port of Progreso, Mexico. We went to one of the finest ruins in the Mayan Empire, Ushmael. Had a great tour guide. Just absolutely incredible ruins, totally different than any Mayan ruins we've seen. We've been to six sites so far. Chichen Itza, Tulum, Ushmal, Koba, Copan, just incredible. And Merida, we went through the town of Merida right by Progreso, which has a small airport, but it's a beautiful up and coming city with incredible architecture. And this is our ride home to Houston, the Olympic Voyager, pointed into the sunset. This completes our Maya Ribbian cruise tour. They look at the Great Pyramid of Chichen Itza. We have traveled a total of 2,186 nautical miles, starting in Houston, cruising the Gulf of Mexico, stopping first in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, then Puerto Cortez, Honduras, Belize City, Belize. Then we went to Progreso and Meridia, Mexico and then cruise back through the Gulf of Mexico into Houston, Texas. A wonderful seven-day Mayan adventure cruise.